Hi everyone, I am Tiladri and uh, today we will be seeing the third chapter of the physical layer channels and procedures, time structure of FDD mode, moving on we will see the time structure of TDD mode. So in the previous class we have already discussed, you know, this radio frame, sub frame, resource element, resource block, scheduling block and everything. So I will go a little bit uh, in detail like what kind of uh, you know structure we are using in TDD and FDD mode. So if I will talk about this time structure of FDD mode operation, we have this type 1 frame in FDD used. So in FDD normally we use two different frequency bands. One is frequency band 1 which is used for downlink transmission. One is frequency band 2 for uplink. So I have uh, given two different type of boxes here, downlink, the open or the blank boxes and the dotted boxes, you know, represents the uplink. So this is a type 1 frame of FIB FDD in LT where we have two different frequency bands, band 1 and band 2, band 1 for downlink, band 2 for uplink. Very simple structure, but in TDD mode, we are having just one band, let's say 20 megahertz, in FDD you have 20, 20, 40, uplink and downlink both, but for TDD we are having 20 megahertz, for both uplink and downlink transmission, we can use different formats to have how many uplink, how many downlink and how many special subframes. So now we are just focusing on the FDD part, wherein we are having two different bands for uplink and downlink separately. Talking about radio frame, this is one frame, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 10 subframes. So one subframe, as we discussed earlier, is having two slots, slot 1, slot 2, each 0.5 second, like 0 0.5, 0 0.5 is 1 millisecond, one subframe. And each one slot is divided into seven symbols if you are using cyclic, normal cyclic prefix. So this is the FDD frame type 1 which is common for both uplink and downlink in FDD mode. Let's see the TDD uh, time structure or the time structure of TDD mode that is type 2 frame. So that we will see now. 